first look at Saudi Arabia's new mammoth cube-shaped city. The sprawling mega project is the size of 20 Empire State Buildings and comes complete with racetracks for flying cars and immersive experiences that mimic visits to other planets. Autonomous cars are no longer a sign of the future. In the Saudi Arabian capital of Riyadh plans are underway to build a massive city within a city, complete with racetracks for flying cars and immersive experiences that mimic visits to other planets or worlds where people tower over regular-sized buildings. Introducing the MUCAB, derived from the Arabic word for cube, this sprawling mega project will act as the centerpiece to the surrounding new Moraba project, which aims to expand the footprint of the capital to house an estimated 350,000 residents over 4,695 acres. The MUCAB will reach 1,312 feet in height and provide a mixture of residences, hotels, office space, and open air parks and walkways. Indoors holographic projections, such as giant-sized people pictured above, will create the immersive, futuristic experiences of the space. Dubai Healthcare City by Calbit Design Studio Calbit Studio the idea of designing Ring Island Dubai is based on the approach and looking to the future and providing a multifunctional complex centered on medical services. The creative integration of a digital approach, sustainable architecture, geographic and social conditions of the region, as well as attention to the future needs of Dubai, are indicators that have been considered in all stages of ideation and design and have led to the formation of the final result. Access to this island will be underwater. Transportation systems like monorail and electric cars are planned, and different stations are designed to access every part of the island. Because of a pedestrian-oriented approach, the entrance to the island is located under the ground, and cars cannot come up and enter the island. The crescent shape of the site plan is a symbol of the architecture of Dubai's region and the geometry of Burj Al Arab, as well as Muslim religious elements such as the Lunar Month. Also, the abstract combination of parametric forms and Islamic geometry patterns has been used in the grid designed for the site and higher levels. Skyports announced Australia's first electric air taxi vertiport. Skyports has unveiled a modular vertiport design by Contreras Earl Architecture that can be deployed anywhere in the world. Only a week after Australian vertiport business Skyports revealed intentions to build the country's first network of air taxi terminals in Melbourne. The company launched a database assessing and categorizing prospective urban air mobility UAM, infrastructure locations throughout the world. The business was also stated during the Globe Air Taxi Congress in Istanbul, Turkey. It has opened its property partner database to accept registrations from possible vertiport locations everywhere in the world. According to Skyports, the design was developed with site-specific assistance from ARUP and to 70 Aviation. These stunning sculptural buildings may be installed in components packed into shipping containers anywhere in the world. Ababu envisions Cliffface City as future capital of Mars. Architecture studio Ababu has designed the concept for a self-sufficient city on Mars named Nuwa that could be built in 2054. Its architect explains the project to Dizim. Set within a cliff on Mars, Nuwa was designed for non-profit organization the Mars Society to be the first permanent settlement on Mars. The vertical settlement which could eventually house 250,000 people, would be embedded into the side of a cliff and built using materials available on the planet. Ababu founder Alfredo Munoz believes that building a permanent, large-scale habitat on Mars is feasible this century and that the planet may have more potential for settlement than the moon. Permanent habitats on the moon that are self-sufficient would be challenging, including the lack of water and critical minerals, he told Dizine. 
On the other hand, Mars offers the right resources to create a fully sustainable settlement. Zaha Hadid's Metrotopia, Metaverse Virtual Communication Hub launched. The Metaverse is taking the world by storm and bringing new opportunities for exhibition. A Metaverse exhibition refers to an event or showcase that takes place within the Metaverse, a virtual reality space that combines elements of the physical and digital worlds. It is a virtual exhibition that allows participants to explore, interact with, and experience various exhibits or displays in a digital environment. Within the Metaverse exhibition, there are virtual exhibits or displays showcasing various content. These can include artwork, products, multimedia presentations, virtual installations, interactive experiences, and more. The exhibits can be designed to replicate physical objects or feature entirely digital creations. I in this regard, Zaha Hadid Architects and Chicago-based Arch Agenda have launched Metrotopia on June 6, 2023. It is a unique metaverse venture dedicated to becoming the virtual communication hub for the global design community. Iconic Villa, a futuristic cliff house concept designed by Zubaida Imad. Zubaida Imad, the area of the iconic villa is 2,000 square meters. A villa designed in the futuristic world where the lifestyle changes completely and becomes transport by planes and hovercrafts. The location of this villa is the one remaining in the futuristic world. The villa was designed in a manner appropriate to that period of time which can be accessed by planes or hovercrafts. What will happen to life in the future? Life will change. People will not drive cars. In the year 3000, I can travel by hovercraft, time machine, and even using the new teleport system. I can simply fly to wherever I want to go. Futurism is the modern form of design that comes long dynamic lines and a monochromatic look that suggests motion and urgency. Dubai 2030 without sandstorms and dust, Calvin Studio unveils sandstorm absorbent skyscrapers. Have you ever encountered sandstorms? If you have ever spent some time in Dubai or any other city in UAE, especially during spring and summer, you have probably witnessed its tropical desert climate and massive sandstorms. And you might know that when they occur, they slow down or, on larger scales, completely shut down the city's ordinary rhythm. Besides this, it is a proven fact that sandstorms gradually cause respiratory problems and pollutes the air and water, which will end up destroying the natural habitat. On the other hand, as you probably know, Dubai loves and encourages creative yet functioning ideas. And designing skyscrapers is one of the most popular types of architecture in Dubai so, at Calbud Architecture Studio, we decided to study and channel this natural behavior of the desert lands via architecture and set ourselves the challenge of providing a suitable solution to the sandstorm in Dubai by integrating creativity and technology. Verna Hotel, Tulum, Mexico by Valise Architecto, Porter Newman Architectos, and Pac T.E. Tulum. Valise Architecto, in Hindu mythology, Verna is the god of water and rain, and his presence is essential to maintain the natural balance of the universe. In this mixed-use residential and commercial project, located on a 6.5 hectare property facing the beach in Tulum, his wisdom is manifested through the harmonious fusion of nature and architecture. The dense and exuberant vegetation of the jungle integrates perfectly with the buildings and common areas of the complex, becoming the fundamental element that gives life to this project. The houses, of different types, are distributed organically, as if they were part of the landscape. 
the large areas of the amenities, which include a gym, yoga room, spa, bar slash lounge, business center, and conference room are spaces where reflection, learning, and spiritual well-being are encouraged. What is OMA's vision for the future hospitals in Qatar? OMA and Borough Happold revealed their design for the Al Dan Health District in Doha, Qatar. Led by Rainier de Graaf, the futuristic project explores the potential of modularity, prefabrication, and automation in relation to the rapid changes in medical science. Al Dan Health District is located on an untouched 1.3 million square meters plot between Qatar University and the new Luzail City. The new health district will have all its high priority needs easily accessible. OMA features cross-shaped modular units that are prefabricated on site, hence they offer more sustainability and lower cost. While the supply of food and medicinal plants will be fetched from a local high-tech farm, Moreover, a solar farm will produce enough energy for the health district to function autonomously. Snowheda proposes Lunar, a landmark of the data era for Shenzhen's Qianhai Bay. Lunar, Snowheda's design for the international competition for the Qianhai New City Center in Shenzhen, is a landmark of the data era. The proposal, which was ranked second place alongside Sofujimoto's floating tower, embodies the Chinese city's pioneer spirit and acknowledges both its maritime past and its technological future. What is a landmark? Does a landmark mark the land? Or does it mark its time, its era? Asks Snoheda as part of the project's design concept. A landmark is a product of its context, a manifestation of the technology of its time. A landmark marks its land, and also marks its era, with references both to the city's maritime past and its technological future. Lunar represents the remnants of a vessel that transmits data to the world, for the world. Periscope Reality Displacement as Space Enhancer and Energy Storage Device by Architects Clairhout Van Beervliet. Architects Clairhout Van Beervliet, we like to present the latest creation from Metamorphic Art Studio, Periscope Reality Displacement as Space Enhancer and Energy Storage Device. It is an enchanting exploration of reality displacement, seamlessly blending enhanced living spaces with energy storage. Crafted by the creative minds of architect Xavier Clairhout, engineer architect Barbara Van Beervliet, and artist Adrian Clairhout, this artwork delves into the potential of periscope architecture as a gravity battery. Zaha Hadid Architects designed 60,000 seat ZN International Football Stadium. Designed by London based ZHA, the stunning saddle-shaped stadium with fluid geometries will play host to the 2023 Asian Football Confederation Asian Cup in China. Zaha Hadid Architects has revealed the design plan for Xi'an International Football Center, a 60,000-seat stadium that will entertain national and international tournaments in the coming years. The stadium in Xi'an, China will host the 2023 Asian Football Confederation Asian Cup, along with several other domestic leagues, entertainment performances, cultural celebrations, and youth training academies. Positioned along Xi'an's expanding metro network and within the city's orthogonal urban framework, the stadium's open facades reach out to the neighboring business district with public spaces, recreation, and dining facilities. A floating bio city designed for the state of Penang in Malaysia by Big with Hijas and Rambol featuring sustainable energy consumption and construction materials. The government of the state of Penang in Malaysia held a competition for the construction of a floating city, won by Big's Biodiversity Project, a manifesto of biodiversity, sustainability, and social inclusiveness. Biodiversity 
conceived by Big in collaboration with Hejas and Rambol, is an archipelago city across from the island of Penang consisting of three big artificial agglomerates, each built around an aquatic plaza and each with its own well-defined role in the city. Originally, it seemed no easy task to build an archipelago on green concrete stilts which would meet the requirements of subtraction of land without continuing the kind of urban upheavals seen in recent years, and so the spirit of the plan left the morphology of the earth practically unaltered by gaining land from the sea. Biodiversity is composed of three big districts, channels, mangroves, and laguna, consisting of eight, six, and eight islands, respectively. Each district fulfills a different function, technological, channels, business, mangroves, and residential, laguna.